talk about the Pena fight right away because it's definitely the, I'd say the biggest story out of the night. So, mm-hmm. you know, me, KB, our boy Alexi, we were watching the fights last night. It was a pretty good all-around card. I'd say the only one, the only fight that wasn't like the most interesting, I'm not going to lie, we, we were talking about other things and not even paying attention was like the, the Joff Neal versus... Uh, I don't that know. was their names. <laughs> Jeff Neal. The only reason I know Jeff Neal is because he fought. He fought against like uh, Wonder Boy Thompson, but like uh, I don't remember the other guy. But uh, yeah, that fight <laughs> was the only one. They're smart though. They sandwiched it real nice. They put two good fights, uh, a fight that no one cared about, and then like two other good fights. So to make people watch the full card, I'll say you. Def- this is the card where I felt like I got the most bang for my buck because usually there's like two fights in the night that I don't care about. Tonight there was only one fight that I really didn't care about, so yeah. I, I, I'd say that's worth it. But I can't, uh, I can't even lie to you, but today I was just chilling by myself, and like I was laughing at the fact that I said, "Yo, oh, blah, 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 like, these guys are lucky I took a nap." <laughs> <laughs> I was really oh, laughing yeah, at yeah, that yeah. by myself. Yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> Yo, Killian is the most evil guy ever, bro. Like, we're, we're in the middle of it. And, and this guy's just like, yo, uh, these guys are lucky I took a nap today. Like, you know, like, oh, man, bro. I just I had to, bro. I, I mean, was... thank, thank God, too, bro. Because if you didn't take a nap, you would have missed, like, like Pena making history and then the, the, the main fight, too. So thank God yeah. you took a nap, bro. Because... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that 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 tough was that fight was tough to watch, but like I knew it was, it was gonna be a good one. The one yeah, that was, was a great one. it was a great card though, great card. Everything everything else other than that fight was super entertaining. That yeah. Pena fight, whew. yo. So whew. yo, you heard me say this before. Alexi was clowning this, but you heard me say this before. I li- I didn't think Pena was gonna win. I'm not claiming that I thought Pena was gonna win. What's like I'm not saying that. What I'm yeah. saying is is that Pena is the first. Like, of all the Nunes fights I've watched, she's the first one that I believed that she believed she could win. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, if, if you don't understand what I mean by that, like, when I saw, like, Megan Anderson, which is the last fight we watched, like, I didn't believe that she thought she could win. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I saw her walking in there, and I'm like, you think that you're going to lose. You're just kind of, like, hoping you get lucky. Pena, yeah. the way she was training and the embeddeds and everything, or, like, the way she was talking, like, I believed her. I'm like, I believe that you think you can win. I believe you. So, like, um, not saying that that adds, that that makes me, like, you know, oh, I was on Pena's side the whole time. That's not the card I'm trying to play. But it's, yeah. like, I would have been more shocked if Megan Anderson beat Amanda Nunes than uh, Juliana Pena beat Amanda Nunes. You know what I mean? That's yeah. kind of what I'm trying to say. So, it's still shocking, but, like, you know, like, it it's believable because of the way she was moving before the fight the way she was training to the she was training against the grappling she was training to be ready for like a fist fight and honestly what was sick about Pena is like she smelled blood and she said F it bro like my face is like you can grind my face to dust but I'm gonna grind yours too and she just went in there swinging and you literally saw Amanda's Nunes face change from like super serious to be like oh shit Shit. oh shit like I might lose you know like so we have a new champion, something that someone never thought was going to happen. And honestly, thank God for the sport. Not saying that I wanted Nunes to lose, but N- Nunes having such a hold over that belt for so long and the fact that everybody thought like she was never going to be beat. I mean, she but, did say that. Yo. She said that. She said to herself that she was going to keep that belt forever. So you yeah, know. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like, that's the thing. Like her keeping that belt forever made the division like stale, you know, because it's like, yeah. who who cares who's coming up through the ranks? Uh, Nunes is just going to deal with that, you know? So exactly. like now that Pena's won, it's kind of like, yo, where do we go from here? There might be some fighters who would have never got a chance versus Nunes that might get a chance versus Pena. I think they're going to run a rematch back. Um Part of it, too, is, like, I wonder if Nunez, like, you know, she, with, with the, well, now that she has a daughter and things like that, I wonder if, like, the pressure was starting to, like, get to her in the sense that she was kind of like, yo, am I really going to have to do this forever? Like, I don't know if, you know, just something I, I was think. going through the back of my mind, but. When I looked at it yesterday, like, like yeah, she did get shook by the way Pena just, you know, took her, but I feel like. I feel like if they were to fight again, Amanda's not going to give her that much leeway, bro. I feel like next time... It's going to be a fight, tough one, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be one of those where, like, like you're really going to feel me this time, you know? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like the next one... You really think they're going to fight again? Yeah, they're going to... They have to. Like, they have they to have fight to? again. Okay, okay. Amanda's just held that belt for so long. Like, how are you not going to give her a rematch? Like, you know? Okay. It's right. just... I don't know if they're going to do, like... If they're if Pena's gonna fight again and then rematch Nunez, or if, Pe- if they're gonna do the rematch immediately, but I think Nunez is not fighting again until she fights Pena a second time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, 
another I, I want to give a quick shout out to Sugar Show because he just you know beat the shit out of a guy I don't even know who he is but apparently he was a big name and it helped Sugar Show get higher up in the ranks but <clears throat> like yo that fight quick easy knockout like that's all <laughs> that's all I need so I, I like there's not much to talk about but I just gotta give a shout out to Sugar Show because every time I watch Sugar Show it's a fucking it's a good time. It's a show. It's, it's a, a show. show. It's a show, man. It's a show. I don't know about that little celebration at the end where he's like doing this shit and then like he turns around and does the fader, but like, you know, I don't know about that. That weird like stiffy steppy stuff. Like that stuff is weird, but yo, know, whatever you gotta do, shit a show, bro. Whatever you gotta do, bro. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. <laughs> and the funny oh, thing is, dude. is that he was he was talking shit to Cody Garbrandt, who everybody thought like, oh, Cody's gonna win, and then after they do Sugar Cody, you know, C- Cody Garbrandt. Yo, that that little motherfucker, Kai Kara France, bro. Yo, th- his name is hard to say, but I don't know. You're gonna know it today, Kai Kara France, bro. He's from the same team as Izzy, like you know, Izzy, Dan Hooker, all uh, uh like all the New Zealand guys. Um, and he <laughs> he goes in there. KB was making me laugh before the fight. KB's like, yo, that guy's small. I can hold him like this, and I'm like, yo, he would fuck you up, bro. Yo, he's five four, one twenty five. Yo, yo, he five four, one twenty five. You look at this guy, bro. It doesn't matter. He's a trained professional, and the way that this guy fucked up Cody Garbrandt, bro, my guy put everything into that punch. Boom. Yo, he said he said that punch over Cody Garbrandt, bro. He was looking at him like, yo, yo, <laughs> hold on a second, hold up. Wait a minute. It's a <laughs> and he was getting roughed up by a little motherfucker, bro. Like, damn, that guy's smaller than me, bro. Like, even to me, I hold him like this, bro. I hold him like my son. But nah, he would beat the shit out of me, bro. Like, yo, know, I could rock a baby that guy, bro. But like, you know, he would he would still beat the shit out of me. But yeah, man, Kai yeah. Kara France, man, impressive victory versus Cody Garbrandt. We gotta give him a shout out. That that like the Sugar Show was impressive. But the Kai Kara France one was really where I was like, oh shit, this is going to be a card. You know what I mean? This is going to be a card. Because I know you didn't know who Kai Kara France even, or even Cody Garbrandt uh, was before. But nope. like, I guess I guess the magic of Cody Garbrandt, you will never know. Because his, his pastimes you didn't see. And I don't think we're going to see him fighting anything big again after this one. Um, and then obviously, finally was the, the main fight. Oliveira versus Poirier, bro. Man, if there was, this is the only fight, only fight in the UFC where, like, I wish both fighters could have won. I really do. Yeah. I know you were pulling more for Poirier. I was pulling more for Oliveira just because I think Oliveira is, like, can hold that belt for longer. Yeah. Um, but, like, I really wish Poirier could have won, too, because he deserves a belt. I feel bad for him because, like, I don't know where he goes from here unless Oliveira eventually loses the belt and then Poirier can come back and fight the new guy. But now that Oliveira has beat him, like, you know... And a, and a standing rear naked choke too. That's pretty nasty. Like they they fought before you said right, and Oliver won that again. Like that's the second time beating him. No no no, that's the first time I think. I don't know if they fought each other before. Oh, yeah, okay. they, I don't think they fought each other before. But it it doesn't matter. It's the way that he won. You know what I mean? It was it was oh, decisive. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like Poirier gave him like too much trouble. The first round I would say was back and forth. You know, yeah. like yo, he was hitting him with some nasty knees, bro. Nasty yeah. knees. Like, yeah. Poirier was hitting his punches. He was getting him nice, bro. I remember there was one point where you got real amped up and you're like, finish him, finish him. You thought it was done. Yeah. But, like, yo. Dustin had him, yo. Yo, like, and it, what does that remind you of, bro? This fight was basically a carbon copy of the, the Chandler fight. Remember the Chandler fight? Like, where we thought Chandler had him in the first round and then yeah. Oliveira came back and won it? Literally, yeah. the same thing happened again, <clears throat> bro. Like, so that first round, like, you know, it, it was looking back and forth. I was saying, I would say lean maybe a little bit more towards Poirier, but, like, you know, I thought... Like, yo, bro, he was getting those, like, Oliver was getting those overhand elbows in and, like, getting a bunch of knees in. Yo, the, bro, the worst was when they were on the ground and Oliver Ooh. was bashing oh. this guy <laughs> yeah. with elbows, bro. Like, oh, yeah. man. Like, man, I've watched, some, I've watched fighting, I've been watching fighting for a long time, but, yo, there's some stuff that just <laughs> makes my, my, my body shiver, bro. Like, and that, that, bro, imagine being on the ground, on the floor, and somebody just taking their elbow, bam, to your face and doing it again and again and again, bro. Like, oh and hey, God, Poirier didn't bro. even get knocked out. He stayed there the whole time, but yeah, man, Charles Oliveira, man. Yo, shout out to the favela, bro. Shout out, shout out to, I, I love Charles Oliveira, bro. We, yeah. get, we got, we got the olive versus the pear, bro. Like, I didn't mind it at all. You know, it was a good show. It was a good <laughs> show. Um, <laughs> Man, not not much more to say about UFC. Like you know, Oliveira, I'm excited. Uh, I'm happy for him. Like I'm sad for Poirier. 
like Pena beating Nunez is like insane. I'm glad that we got to like witness that moment like live. Yeah, like we crazy. got we got to see history live, which is crazy. Sugar Show, bro. I can't wait till this guy climbs up in the ranks and fights like for a belt or something one day. Like as long as he keeps doing what he's doing, like bro, that man, that man, those fists are quick, lightning, bro. But yeah, pretty good, pretty good all around card. I'd say probably one of the best cards we watched this year. It's pretty up there. What? I can't lie to you, but I was on the verge of being like, nah, it's not going to be that serious. I might not want to watch this, but now nah, I'm so happy I actually didn't get to miss that, yo. Yeah. Uh, shout out Mendo, shout out Pena, shout out my man Oliveira, but that motherfucker got passion, bro. Like, even even after the fight, the way he was yelling, I don't understand anything this motherfucker said, <laughs> but, but the passion man is words, yo. Shout out the boys. 